Biofuels production has become an important part of agriculture in the Corn Belt. In addition to corn for ethanol and soybeans for biodiesel, there are also biofuels production applications for sorghum, sunflowers, switchgrass, and even trees. OSU Extension's Harold Waters explains more. We have a lot of plots here at Farm Soon. I think I've got 72 treatments all together. The ones we're standing right now are bioenergy demonstration plots, and that's, that's really is something I want to point out. I've got some trees here, willows, poplar sitting here, switchgrass, a lot of interest in that. It is a native grass to the United States, not necessarily to Ohio, but is, is grown here certainly uh, regularly across the United States, and it is looked seriously at for an energy crop. Sunflowers are put in partly because it's an attractive plant, but it's also an oil seed crop. Biodiesel has been made out of sunflowers probably for 30 years or more, and probably even longer than that. And then I've got corn behind it. Corn is the ethanol crop, the energy crop in Ohio right now. Sweet sorghum has the potential, at least, that we can harvest not just the grain, and we're not going to harvest the grain, of course, from sweet sorghum, but we harvest the whole plant. So we're getting the sugars from that plant. We're also getting the cellulose from that plant. We're going to transport that whole product then to that ethanol facility. It's going to have to be processed a little bit different because we're going to be processing cellulose as well as the sugars that are in there. But I think we have some potential to increase the yield of ethanol per acre with sweet sorghum over what we do with corn. As far as Ohio farmers go, and that's of course who I talk to most of the time, they are interested in alternative energy crops, alternative energy equipment. They're still feed source livestock for swine, for cattle, for chickens, especially around here just to our north and to our west, lots of chicken feeding operations. They know that that's really where most of their corn is growing, but this is an, an extra uh, benefit to them, I guess, as far as that's concerned, having that other outlet for their, for their grain crop. And it keeps it in Ohio. Waters also mentioned how, in addition to the grain and oilseed itself, plant materials such as corn stalks can also be used in biofuel production. For Comtech Digital Media, I'm John Rice.